Hey, you're listening to the Sustainable Weight Loss Podcast, and I'm Brian Wilkerson, your host. Over seven years ago, I lost over 30 pounds after going on a dieting roller coaster for many, many years, and finally finding a way of eating, exercising, and living that supported my goals, and also that led to sustainable weight loss. And ever since then, I have been longing and I have been actually doing it and leading other women on the same journey because my heart is to see every woman finally ditch diets, lose weight that lasts and thrive in their whole health and life. And so the work I do as a coach, um, the work I do on this podcast, everything I do is to really serve women in that capacity. So on this podcast, you're going to find solo episodes, interviews, and all all together, what are you going to find? You're going to find inspiration, encouragement, and a space where you can feel safe, supported, and empowered to go on your journey. So be sure to listen in, rate and review so other women can find this podcast, and also join my healthy and sustainable weight loss community to unpack these episodes and get more support. All right, ready? Let's dive on in. Hello, hello, everyone. Happy Friday. It is Friday over here, and um, it's the first Friday of the month. And so I just wanted to jump in um, to do a Facebook Live, just a quick little um, thought, a little inspiration, a little um, training for you um, around emotional eating and around how to remove the shame and guilt around that we may face around it. And this is something most we're talking about here on the podcast, the More Than Your Weight podcast here in the Facebook group and More Than Your Weight Women's Community on the free webinar um, workshop that I'm doing in a week and a half. And it's a, it's a very foundational thing um, that I work with with my clients. And so you know, I talk a lot about food freedom. I talk a lot about mindset around food and actually emotional eating is one of the core things that when people want food freedom, they maybe wrestle with. And so they want to break free from that. So I, rather than just talking about food freedom on the seven different parts of it, which I still think is amazing. And I have obviously courses and, and, and freebies around that sort of stuff. I wanted to specifically focus this month on emotional eating because emotional eating is a part of my story. It is something that I struggled with for a long time, but it's also something I, I broke through with and I have had victory and freedom over. And does that mean I'm always like not emotionally? Does it mean that I'm perfect? No, but it means that I am way further along and have a lot more control and freedom in it than I ever have right? And so I just wanted to, again, create that space for us here in this group, but also um, particularly on this webinar coming up that I really hope you join. But, you know, I think when it does come to emotional eating, I think the first barrier, the thing that we need to break through to find freedom in it is to really just stop allowing ourselves to feel shame and guilt over it. So shame, I mean, so let's talk about guilt. Guilt is actually like being feeling sad or feeling wrong about something we did, like something physically we did. So it's very easy to be like, okay, I emotionally ate and I'm just feeling guilty about it because maybe you were on a certain trajectory. Maybe you felt like you were doing really well. And shame is, okay, well, I'm wrong. Who I am is wrong. And it's very easy sometimes to fix what you do, but it's not as easy to fix the, uh, who you are because who you are is who you are. But what I think is that often as women, we connect who we are, our worth to what we do and how we look and how much we weigh and how happy people are with us. And I talk a lot about worth. This is a worth question. It's an identity piece. And it's a core part of the work that I do to help women is overcome finding their worth and their value in their way, what they do, all that sort of stuff. And it's actually the core essence of the first book, my first book that's coming out soon, hopefully. I'm in the editing process. So it's really up to me to kind of get my booty into shape and edit, um, but hopefully it's go, it'll come out in May. But I just think, you know, even, you know, you guys probably have seen that I have this webinar coming up. You probably will hear about it all month on the podcast. But I just think even, if, even signing up for the webinar can be tough because you might say like you're acknowledging like, oh, I want to learn more about emotional eating. And, um, but maybe I am someone who emotionally eats. And there's just a lot of shame and guilt, the feeling of feeling that I did something wrong and I'm wrong because you struggle with this. And the reality is we all have intense emotions that we are trying to figure out how to manage. Men, women, young, old, health professionals, non-health professionals, we're all dealing with emotions, especially in the last two years. Emotions we never thought we would feel, situations we never thought we would go through. And I'm just, I just think that 
we need to acknowledge the first step in the kind of my five steps to emotional eating breakthrough is acknowledge that we have emotions acknowledge that we need support in processing our emotions whatever that support may be maybe something you do on your own right like creating time to journal through it creating time to talk to people whether it's a friend a coach a therapist or it or if it's actually coming up with strategies and you know we'll talk about all of the all the different ways you can acknowledge what support may look like but the first step is acknowledge that one it's normal to have emotions it's normal to have very intense emotions and then sometimes it's normal not to know how to deal with them right and so I think we can remove shame and guilt when we acknowledge that we acknowledge that okay I, I'm struggling with certain emotions and how I'm coping right now I just don't think is good for me like it's not something I want to do because we all cope with emotions in different ways right some of us don't eat some of us eat some of us work out a lot some of us don't work out some of us consume other things sometimes it's alcohol sometimes it's just drink and coffee and um, all these other things we are all trying to cope with these emotions we have and, and let's be honest sometimes we don't have, feel like we don't have space to cope with our emotions because life is busy or we're dealing with our kids or we have deadlines or whatever and so i think when we remove the fact that when we just acknowledge that we all have emotions we need support in handling and a plan to handle those emotions we realize that emotional eating is just one way that maybe we or other people have choosed chosen um, or just fell into coping with our emotions, okay? And that a lot more people emotionally eat than you think. And I'm not saying like we should continue that because if it's not serving you to, to, do, to eat out of your emotions, then, um, then we gotta change it. But I don't think you're gonna be able to move forward. I don't think you're gonna be able to get the tools or the support you need until you acknowledge that you have emotions and, you, you, and you've been, trying to cope with them and you just want to figure out another way besides emotionally eating to cope with them okay and so I just I would love to hear from you this is a safe space as always this is in the group just like like where are you at are you someone who has wrestled with emotional eating How, are you someone who's on their healing journey in that or do you feel like you've really in the last two three years especially you've had emotions and you haven't quite you haven't, you're not quite sure how to cope with them. So you find yourself emotionally eating. Just where are you at with managing your emotions? And um, is emotional eating part of that? Have you created other solutions? I just want to know where you're at. Just whatever that means for you, share with me in this space. Okay. And I want to invite you once you like acknowledge that this is where I'm at and this is where I want to be. Like, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to feel like food's controlling me. I want to really feel in control and all of that. I would love to support you through that, through my free webinar. It is a free webinar where we will go through the five steps, kind of webinar slash workshop, because you're actually going to work a, like you're going to actually, hopefully I'm going to have a workbook ready for you in time. Work through some of each of the steps as we're talking. And obviously, like, I think, excuse me, I think this webinar is the first step too. I do think we create a plan, but we need support implementing it. And that's why on the webinar, I'm going to share about how I, how I support clients in that and how I can support you. But the first step is definitely coming to the webinar. So it is a free webinar on um, February 15th at 8 p.m. Eastern to 9 p.m. Eastern. And again, it's a space where we will go through the five steps to break through emotional eating by really doing work, acknowledging about what sort of emotions we feel, maybe what's causing us to, or maybe root, causing us to emotionally eat what's at the root of it what's really going on we say stress but like what's really stressing us out strategies to think of in the moment when we feel like emotional eating what can we do or even proactively in the future like if there are certain things once we've discovered that there are certain things that um, hold us back and that lead us to emotionally what can we do in the future to handle that and then honestly giving ourselves grace when we emotionally eat because it's you know, it's a journey. It's not something that if uh, you might, and some people might be like, I just never do it again, but it's something you might feel tempted to do, right? Because your brain has told you and you've created, maybe you've created a habit out of realizing, okay, this is something that helps me when I'm feeling stressed. Okay. So please join that free webinar. You can go to madewell345.com slash emotional eating, madewell345.com slash emotional eating. And it's just going to be a really great space to, um, 
yeah, to really, to really kind of get coached through, through the, these five steps and it's on zoom. And so, um, if you know, it won't be on, so there's more chance to kind of interact that way. And so please, please sign up. If you know a friend that maybe also another woman that also may be struggling, please send the link to them. Like, I just think I'm in a season of life. And I think this is why I started. This is why I started my business. This is why I started coaching. And this is why I started sharing about essential oils, because I found solutions and support that helped me break through some of the most darkest times in my life. And it is, it would be a travesty. And honestly, I feel like a sin for me to hold that back from you or from, from these women. And that's what I've been doing the last six years is just trying to share what I've learned, trying to coach other women through that, trying to share, share what oils have helped me and my family and health and emotions in life. Right. So, um, do the same. Let's be people who don't just consume for ourselves, but help others by just sharing this link, sharing a podcast or whatever. So hope to see you on the webinar live. If you do attend live, I will be um, raffling off um, one 45 minute food freedom intensive. It's kind of a shorter version of the longer intensive that I do for women uh, to one woman who attends live. And even if for some reason you have a schedule conflict, the replay will be available for a few days. But again, I do think let this be something that you maybe prioritize and you move something like if you can move something else around that you move something else around so you can be there. Okay. So hope to see you um, Tuesday, the 15th at 8 PM, please sign up and register. And um, please let me know if you have any questions, but again, um, just share where you're at with emotional eating and acknowledging your emotions here and sign up for the webinar. Okay. Have a good one. That's a wrap. Thanks for listening to another episode of the Sustainable Weight Loss Podcast. I hope you're leaving supported, empowered, encouraged, inspired to go off and really do the things that you know in your heart you need to do and and think, right? Because it's not just about what you do, it's how you think and how you feel to really reach your goals and sustain that weight loss. Again, for more support, join us in the Healthy and Sustainable Weight Loss community on Facebook. This is a space where you can really be safe, supported, and empowered through your journey. Just go to madewell345.com slash community and you'll get the, you'll be right there uh, or click the link below. Again, so grateful you're here. Be sure to rate, review, and subscribe so you'll not miss an episode and so that other women can find this podcast. All right, see you on the next episode.